welcome back to my channel. It's Janelle and Everly. This week we are back with some really fun fall Halloween type of activities that you can do with your little one. So these two ideas I came across and I thought they were really cool so I wanted to share them with you guys just because they were so simple to make as well as the really fun sensory DIYs that, that you can do and you could probably kind of use the same concept of these crafts and ideas but turn it into different projects for different seasons. So I know there's different ways I'm going to be turning these projects into different ones for the upcoming holiday season, which I'll definitely be filming some video. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? Some videos for, about those as well. So stay tuned for all those videos. Make sure you're subscribing. Hey. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Make sure you're subscribing to our channel for all those updates. And without further ado, let's just jump right into it. And I'm going to show you guys these two DIYs. For this first DIY for the canvas, you're just going to need some non-toxic paint. I actually find mine at the local dollar store, so just really make sure you research that it is non-toxic. And then I also use some Sharpies or pens, but you can do that either or. You can use paint or Sharpies for the last part. And then this is the fun part slash scary part, is putting the paint onto your child's foot and then laying it down on the canvas. My trouble was Ev just loved putting her hand into the paint and then rubbing it everywhere so she touched her foot. But I mean, in the end, they kind of have fun. It's a sensory activity as well. So you get the two feet done. And then I used her little big toe, her little big toe, that sounded funny, just to make some small little pumpkins all around the canvas as well. I started using green paint at the beginning, but then I really found it was easier using a Sharpie for the leaves. But I did use the brown paint to make some stems on the pumpkin. And then, like I said, I used a green Sharpie slash green pen to make the little leaves all over the pumpkins. Next, we're going to make this really fun DIY felt pumpkin that easily lets you create fun little faces onto the pumpkin with your little one. So to start this DIY, I used a piece of chalk just to help me easily trace out anything that I want to cut just because it can erase or wipe off the felt very easily. And I started this DIY by just tracing it freehand, like not folding it in half. And I was like, why am I not folding this in half and making it completely symmetrical? So that is what I did. And then I got my perfect little pumpkin shape. Next, using some green felt, I cut out a little rectangle for the stem of the pumpkin. You could also use brown if you have this, but I mean, I just had green, so I was just making it all one color. And then I also made some leaves going with the same method that I did before with the pumpkin, just folding it a piece in four times, just so I could have four leaves that were exactly the same size. And also just cut down on time and made it a lot easier to get these leaves. Once you have your shapes, use a hot glue gun to glue this down. I mean, you could also keep these not glued down and use it part as the learning process, making sure the stem goes at the top of the pumpkin, letting your kid put the leaves wherever they want. So this is totally up to you. I just really wanted to glue this down. And another thought I had, if you wanted to make this a little more sturdier, you could glue the felt onto a little bristle board or any board that you find at the local dollar store, like a canvas, and it'll just make it a little sturdier. And now the fun part, to create some faces. So you can create as many as you want. I just did about three each, so three mouths, three nose, three eyes, but you could do as many as you want or add more later if you wanted to. And then you get to have fun with your kid. And there are so many different things you can do with this activity, which is why I love it. First of all, it's easy to make, but then you can be like put the triangles as the eyes, put the nose as a circle. So there's so many different learning activities that you can do with your child with this DIY. Lastly, if you're looking for an easy way to store this DIY, as there are a lot of loose pieces that could get lost, I'm going to link these really cool bags down below as it's really simple. You just basically put it in, they lay flat, and it's a quick way to store anything. Those were the two projects. I hope you guys really liked these ideas. Like I said, they're very easy, very quick to do, which is why I was a big fan of them. <laughs> you're always laughing at me now. What's so funny? <laughs> you're so funny. <laughs> Say hi. 
<laughs> I forgot where I was now. I think I was just thanking you guys for watching the video and how easy these projects were. That is about it. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel as we're back every week with more videos. Yep, that's about it, right? Can you say bye? There you go. Bye-bye.